Hey everybody, what's up? Rich Menga here again. The standard Windows Notepad basically has not changed all that much since Windows 3.1, even in Windows 7. So what we have here is the Home Premium version of Windows 7, but whether you have Windows 7 Home Premium all the way up to Ultimate, Notepad is still the same. The only thing they really added since the Windows 3.1 days is a replace function which allows you to find a string of text and replace it but other than that there really has not been all that much that's changed about it which is why it sucks and which is why you should use Notepad++ instead which is free and available at notepad-plus-plus.org or by going to Google and typing in Notepad, N-O-T-E-P-A-D, plus plus, and you can use the plus sign if you want. Search for that and you'll get this, and it's awesome. Now there's another thing you can do uh, with Notepad++, plus plus. I mean there are many, many things you can do with it, like macro recording, and there is also, uh, uh, where is it? Oh, the FTP window, which I have on this side uh, here. There's a spell checker option, you know, in a, in a text editor. It's just, there's so many things you can just do with this, it's ridiculous. But anyway, uh, oh, and not to mention, tabs. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Really good stuff. Once you start using this, I guarantee you will want to associate TXT, the uh, file extension, text TXT, for everything to do... Uh, excuse me, to always launch this editor because it is vastly superior. Fortunately, in here, it, it's really easy to do as long as you know where to find it. Go to Settings, go to Preferences, go to File Association tab, click the first one here, Notepad, highlight TXT, and just add it as a registered extension. I would also add in Log and INI just because. Because sometimes if you want to edit an INI file for an app you download or, or check out a log real quick, like here's another reason why uh, Notepad++ is so awesome, is because it can handle huge text files easily. Notepad, the standard Notepad in Windows, even in Windows 7, if you load a file that's too big, too much text, it will crash. Even now. I mean, it takes a lot to crash it, granted. And it has nothing to do with how much RAM you have. It's just a limitation of the app. But Notepad++, you can throw mountains, novels worth of text at it, and it'll keep coming back for more. So anyway, after you do this, hit close. And here's the cool thing that happens after that. Uh, not only are all TXT uh, files with the TXT extension associated with Notepad++, but if you right-click on your desktop and go to New, instead of Notepad document, now it is Notepad++ document. Rock on. So you do that and it creates a new text file uh, and it is a registered TXT just like a Notepad file except it's using Notepad++ now and uh, I'll just keep it as new text document and then double click to open it up and you'll see it is a TXT and you know type your whatever and then just save. I want to open up again and back where you were. 